Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to be needing some basic materials such as measuring tape and some stitch markers, some scissors, and um, a tapestry needle. In today's video we are going to be using two different types of crochet hooks and the first one we're going to be using is a G4 millimeter crochet hook and this is going to be used for the cuff around the neck of the sweater. Later on we will be using a H8 5 millimeter crochet hook for the body of the sweater. And then we're going to need two different types of color for our sweater, which I'm using Christmas sweaters. I am using this red color from I Love This Yarn, and you can find this at Hobby Lobby. And this green color is called Jelly Bean, and this is also from I Love This Yarn brand. And you can also find that at Hobby Lobby. So let's go ahead and get started. Beginning with G4 millimeter crochet hook, I'm going to take my yarn, and I'm going to create a slip knot. To begin, we want to chain 11, and this is making the height of the neck part, and you can always adjust this. If you don't want such a thick cuff, you could always um, chain as many as you want to make it the width that you'd like. Um, I like a thick cuff, so I'm going with 11. There's one two, three, four, ten, eleven. I'm going to work into the second chain from the hook and put one single crochet. There's one. And then we're going to work one single crochet across into every single stitch, which is going to leave us with ten single crochets. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. nine and ten we will have ten single crochets at the end of row one row two we're going to chain up one and turn our work we're going to work one single crochet across but in this case we are going to be working in the front loops of this stitch right here if you turn your work, you can see it right here where these V's are. There's the front loop right here, and then there's the back loop. So we're going to be working front loop, not through both stitches, but we're going to work into that stitch, okay? And we're going to work one single crochet into that stitch. And then we're going to work one single crochet across, repeating the same thing. We have come to the end of row two, chain one, turn your work. And that has given us ridges here in the front. For row three, we're going to put one single crochet into the same stitch and put one single crochet across into every stitch in the back loop only. And we're doing this um, alternating the front loop and the back loop so then that way all of the ridges are on the right side of our work. So if you turn our work you'll see that there are no um, rib stitches in the back. We have come to the end of row 3, and this is what our work looks like. We have 10 single crochets across into the back loop only. 
Now we're going to continue to work in this fashion, alternating row two and row three, working front loop and back loop up until we get the size that we need. I am working up to row 47, which will end on the right side. I'm going to continue this off camera and I will be back as soon as I get to the end of row 47. We're going to then match up our cuff and the yarn tail will be facing this way. Once we match up our work, what we're going to do is slip stitch our front loops only and try to match them up as much as possible and we're going to single crochet that together. There's one. and We're only doing the front loops on this side right here. There's two. And then there's three. And then there's ten. That's our last stitch. And this is what our work looks like. And this is um, row 47. See? Now we're going to change our crochet hook. And we're not going to be using our 4 millimeter anymore. We're going to be taking our H8 5 millimeter crochet hook and put that in there. And then um, we're going to work one single crochet into the same spot where we are. And then we're going to work one single crochet into every single chain to make 47 stitches all the way around. So we're going to put one there. There's two. And then there's three. And then there's four. And then there's And there's five. To avoid having a big hole and a big gap in your work is to work directly into every single chain and do not work into these types of holes right here because then it'll make a big gap. So I'm going to continue to work one single crochet all the way around. As soon as I come to the end, I will come back and show you guys what to do next. Alright you guys, we have come to the end of round one and this is what our cuff of the neck looks like. We have 47 single crochets all the way around. Now this part is completely up to you guys. You guys can continue to work in the round if you don't like a line on the sweater. Um, some people like a seamless finish. Um, the personally, the, the slip stitching to join when it comes to single crochet in a chain one doesn't bother me because it's not really seen and it's underneath the belly. So we're going to work directly into our first single crochet if you're going to do a seamless finish which means that you will not be slip stitching you will be um, just working in the round and therefore you will use a stitch marker now if you use this method I warn you that I do not show you how to change your colors because I am going to use the other method with the slip stitching to join um, changing colors in the round is a little bit more harder so if you want to go about that route um, just know that I do not show that in this video because I am using another method but I thought I would let you guys know because there are people out there that do not like the slip stitching with the line on the sweater now that I have that out in the clear I'm going to go to my first single crochet of the round and I'm going to slip stitch to join After we have slip stitch to join, I'm going to um, put one single crochet into the first three stitches. There's one, two, and three. And then we're going to increase into that next stitch with two single crochets. We're going to put one single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three. 
and then into that next stitch after we'll increase with two single crochets and that is going to be the repeat all the way around putting one single crochet into the first three stitches and then follow up with a increase of two single crochets when we come to the end of this round we will have 58 single crochets all the way around all right you guys we have come to the end of round two and we have 58 single crochets and you should end with three single crochets right here I'm going to slip stitch to join to the very first single crochet and again if you're working in the round you don't have to do that from round three all the way into the end of round four we're going to continue to work one single crochet into every single stitch and um, this is really easy stuff so when we come back uh, and we come to the end of round four we're going to be changing our color to green but I'm going to continue to work in this fashion um, placing one single crochet all the way around and I will meet you guys at the end of round four we have come to the end of round four and at this point you want to slip stitch to the very first single crochet, chain one, and clip off your end, which I've already done. If you are working in the round, then you will um, change your color at this point as well. I am going to attach my new color and this is Jelly Bean. Alright, and after that we want to chain up one and then put one single crochet into the same stitch and then we're going to uh, crochet one single crochet all the way around and we will have 47 single crochets at the end Alright you guys, we have come to the end of round 5 and we're going to slip stitch to the very first single crochet. That's what our work looks like. Um, we're going to continue to chain 1 and put 1 single crochet all the way around and the color green for 2 more rounds. So I'm going to continue to work in this fashion by chaining one and putting one single crochet all the way around for the next two rounds which we will end at round seven with green and then we're going to change our color back to red on round eight so I'm going to um, come back as soon as it's time to change to the color red all right, you guys, I have come to the end of round seven and I'm going to clip off the end of my green color. I'm going to pull that through and then we're going to grab our red color. Pull that through with the chain one and then single crochet to that same stitch and then put one single crochet all the way around. So I'm going to continue to work in this fashion, changing my color red every four rounds and then for green will be every three rounds. And we will work this way until we get to the end of round 11. So as soon as we come to the end of round 11, I will be back and I will show you guys what we're going to do next. Alright, we have come to the end of round 11 and we are now switching our color to Jelly Bean. And we are beginning round 12. For round 12, we are going to be working on our armholes. And I'm just going to chain up one. And I'm going to put one single crochet into the first five stitches. So there's one, two, three. 
four and five. We have five single crochets. There's one, two, three, four, and five. And now we're just going to chain up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're going to skip seven stitches, counting from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to join to the eighth stitch right here. And you're going to join with a single crochet. Okay, now we're going to be putting one single crochet into the next 34 stitches and we will have a total of 35 stitches. Two, three, four, Gabby, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm going to continue until I reach the 35th stitch. I'm going to chain up seven again. Three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to skip seven. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And I'm going to join to that eighth stitch, which is after. And then we have three single crochets left. We're going to put one single crochet into those last three stitches. And then I'm going to slip stitch to join to the very first single crochet of the round. Yeah. Round 13, chain up one, and we're going to put one single crochet all the way around. If you guys have been with me for a while now and you guys have done any of my sweaters, you guys know that um, I use chains. And to go over those chains, you, we have to put one single crochet into each and every chain that we made. So let's just work into those next seven chains. And this is what your work will look like after you've crocheted over that little chain bridge. And then we're just going to hop on over right here to this next corner stitch with the single crochet. And then we're going to continue to work around in this fashion in the same way, just putting one single crochet all the way around. And then when we get to this chain bridge, which is our second armhole, um, we're going to repeat what we did on this side just putting one single crochet into every chain and then work our way back here so as soon as I come to the end I will come back on camera and um, I will show you guys what we're going to be doing next alright you guys we have come all the way around from round 13 and what we're going to do is slip stitch to our first single crochet of course unless you're working in the round now for round 14 we're just going to single crochet into the same stitch and then we're going to put one single crochet all the way around. Alright, so we're just going to continue to work in that fashion working one single crochet all the way around and as soon as we come to the end, I will come back and we will move on to round 15. Alright you guys, we have come to the end of round 14 and we are 
beginning to change our color. I've already slip stitch to join. We have switched our color at the very first stitch of the round for round 15 as we always do. And we are going to move on to round 15. Just going to chain up one and then I'm going to put one single crochet into the same stitch. And then I'm just going to put one single crochet all the way around. And I like to single crochet over my stragglers as well. So then we don't have to tuck those in later. So once you've got them all nice and tucked in, and um, even if you don't fully do it, you can just clip them off. But at least crochet over some of them so they just get lost in the stitches. That's how that looks. So let's go ahead and continue to work around repeating this, putting one single crochet. And I'm going to meet you guys at the end. Alright you guys, so we've come to the end of round 15. And we're just going to continue to work in the same fashion until we get to the end of round 32. Um, of course we're going to be changing colors every so often. Like I have stated before, the red color will be every four rounds, and then you'll change it to green, and then that'll be three rounds of green, and then you'll change your color. Um, if you're not sure exactly what color to change at what round, um, I do have a free pattern um, that is downloadable for you guys to see, and to um, that'll let you know what round it should be what color um, and it's totally up to you too you guys could always change how frequent you change your color so I'm going to continue this and I will be back as soon as I come to the end of round 32 alright you guys we have come to the end of round 32 and what I did was I finished off and um, I already pre-marked where I want my beginning and my ending stitch for working the back rows of the dog sweater. Now um, what I did was I counted from where we finished off to the 12th stitch right here and I marked that. And then if you look to the right of our work right here, here is our first stitch. This is a slip stitch right here. I counted one, two, and three, and I marked that, if that helps you any. And this is where we're going to begin. We're going to be changing our color to um, jelly bean green. And I'm just going to take out my stitch marker and just um, attach that here. To begin, chain one. And then we want to put one single crochet into the same stitch. And then we're going to put one single crochet all the way around until we reach this other side right here where my purple stitch marker is. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've reached 44 and this is going to be our 45th stitch. So we should have a total of 45 single crochets. Don't worry about this because we're going to be single crocheting around the sweater and all of this is going to be cleaned up and then we can tuck in our um, yarn tail right here when we single crochet around so just leave that and you can even clip it small if you'd like to. We are now working in rows and we're going to chain up one and turn our work. We're going to place one single crochet into the same stitch and then work our way back with one single crochet until we reach this um, other side right here, this last single crochet. There's two three four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. All right, you guys, we have come to the very last stitch, which is um, where we had begun. This is our second row. We are on, currently on row two, so what we're going to do is, again, chain up one, and then single crochet into the same stitch, and then put one single crochet all the way back to the other side. I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with doing this. I just thought I would explain it. We're going to continue this, um, working one single crochet into every single stitch. The only difference is, is that, again, like we did here on the body of the sweater, we're just going to be changing colors. Um, green is three rows, and then for the red is four rounds of, um, or four rows, now that we're working in rows. Um, we're going to be doing four rows of red. So I'm going to work my way down, all the way right here, work my way back up, and come all the way around and that's going to make our fourth stripe of red color so I'm going to continue to work around and I'm going to show you guys how I do that I quickly wanted to show you guys um, what I was talking about earlier in this video where I said not to worry about where we finished off with this little yarn towel because we're going to crochet over it. So I'm just going to jump over here, just single crochet over that. And then you can just kind of cut off your yarn there. Alright, and this is what our sweater is looking like so far, so we're going to continue to work all the way around. Alright you guys, we have come to the end. This is my last stitch before the first stitch where we had started. We're just going to slip stitch to the very first stitch. And then I'm just going to chain one, finish off, and then I'm just going to weave in my ends. Just like that. And there we have it. There is our Christmas stripe pet sweater. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell so you can get more free crochet patterns. I love you all. Happy holidays and I will see you guys in the next video.